Welcome back, everyone. That intense manhunt is still going on in upstate New York for those escaped murderers. Now it's into its second week. As authorities continue their search for Richard Matt and David Sweat, a source says the two may have planned to kill the husband of Joyce Mitchell, an employee at the prison who reportedly had a relationship with Sweat and possibly Matt as well. Prosecutors say the two men may have been manipulating Mitchell as far as back as 2013. They say Mitchell is cooperating with the investigation, even though she is now facing charges of aiding the escape. You need to work corrections. You need to be aware of your own vulnerabilities because the inmates will find it out within a day or two of who you are. Meanwhile, hundreds of leads suggest the escaped inmates are anywhere from Mexico to, Ber to Vermont. But authorities say they will continue to search the woods just a few miles from the Clinton Correctional Facility. Investigators say Joyce Mitchell's husband has not had any contact with his wife since her arrest. And now to another story making headlines this morning. A rally was held yesterday in Spokane, Washington, calling for the resignation of NAACP leader in Washington State amid allegations that she lied about her race. But she beat him to the punch. Earlier in the day, Rachel Dolezal stepped down after it came to light that she had apparently led people to believe that she herself is African American. Her parents set the record straight, though, recently revealing that she's white. Some of her former co workers say, all they want is some sort of an apology. Dolezal had canceled the regular scheduled meeting for tonight, but the local executive board questioned her authority and planned on having it anyway. That's when national leadership stepped in and decided to cancel the meeting. And a quick reminder here, Dolezal will be appearing live in an exclusive interview on the Today Show coming up in about 10 minutes. And turning to politics now, billionaire real estate mogul and reality TV star Donald Trump is expected to reveal his intentions for the 2016 presidential race today. He's scheduled to speak at an event at Trump Tower, New York. He's also expected to release a summary of his assets totaling about $9 billion. The Washington Post reports the financial release is, quote, part of his likely entry into the race for the Republican presidential nomination. And now to international news, a court in Egypt has upheld a death sentence for former Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi. But today's ruling can be appealed. Morsi had been sentenced to death last month for his role in a 2011 prison escape. Morsi, Egypt's first democratically elected leader, was ousted by the country's powerful military in 2013. Also today, the court sentenced Morsi and 16 other Muslim Brotherhood leaders to life in prison on espionage charges. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un watched two drills featuring what North Korean media called a new type of anti-ship rockets. On its front page, the country's state-run newspaper features photos of Kim leaning back in a chair surrounded by smiling military officials. State-run media reported two drills, one in daylight with anti-ship rockets and another one at night testing both ground artillery and warships. The reports did not specify exactly where and exactly when the drills were held.